What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another episode of the AC Milan career mode. And in this one, we start off with a game against Roma away. That's the lineup that I'm going to be going with. Uh, we did play with a full cup lineup in the last game and won 3-0. Uh, Kaká getting two goals. I would start him this game, but he's a little bit tired because, you know, that game was just a couple of days ago. Uh, so I'm going to be doing going with, you know, the same lineup as uh, basically just, you know, our starting lineup um, against Roma here, who are... Uh, one point behind us. It's only three games in, though. So it's still very early, but this is a an early six-pointer because Roma are going to be challenging for the title, or at least challenging for second or third place. So this is an important match. Um, they're in pr pretty poor form, uh, really. A win, and draw, and a loss in the last three games. Hopefully, we can take advantage of that. Hopefully, Costa can score his first goal for the club. Uh, so come on, lads, let's get this win. It's it's going to be a tough one. It's a way. Against a very tough team, but we we scored, but Dumbia immediately canceling out the goal. Calabria, though, off the bench with a goal from right back. That is a surprising place to get the goal from, but it could be the winner. Ten minutes left to play. Kaka's on. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, Stepa, Stepanenko with the goal. 87 minutes in, and that is... Really unfortunate. The right back, the reserve right back, Calabria, with the goal that was so close to being the winner. It's that's a good result though. I would definitely take a draw, uh, you know, away to Roma any day of the week. That is a very good result. Uh, really can't complain too much. But considering we were two one up, I was really, really hopeful. We are in uh, equal in points with Inter Milan. We're both four points behind Juventus, though. It seems like this season Juventus could be back. Uh, obviously, last season Inter Milan completely dominated the league, finished 12 points clear, I think, in the end. Um, so yeah, Juventus didn't didn't play very well last season, uh, but it looks like they might be back this season. Uh, the squad submission thing is coming up soon. Okay, so um, what do we have? Next, there's probably a yeah. There is a game midweek. It's against Rangers. It's not going to be that difficult. Um, I do want to play though. Um, I want to play Kaká if possible. Is he fit? He is because he's in good form. Uh, he made an appearance last match as well. And uh, is there any other players? Calabria as well. Yeah, he's going to go in because he's in form. Not there though. Um, he's going to go in there. And then uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try dropping Costa because he's just not been impressive so far. And Niang, I'm gonna give a go at striker. Um, most likely, what's gonna happen is he's gonna score a goal in like the 10th minute, and then he's gonna get injured around the 60th minute and be out for eight weeks. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, that was a, a very common theme last season: is that he would impress me from that striker position and then get injured for a long period of time. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen. Be, it would be very, very unlucky. Alright. We are playing Genoa, though, so it's a it's a pretty easy match. It's a match we need to be winning, though, uh, if we want to keep pace with Juventus. Alright, so come on, lads. Let's get this win. Let's not get Niang injured. You know, objective one, win the game. Objective two, don't injure any players. Alright, and Niang has scored very early on. If he gets injured now, I'm gonna be kind of I'm gonna be kind of pissed off, because that means that I completely called it. Bonaventura with the second goal of the match, it's two 0 now. Uh, that's probably game over, but hopefully we can grab another one, and hopefully Niang can keep uh, that injury away. Isco with a goal to cancel out uh, Simeone's. It ends three one, and Niang uh, didn't actually get injured, so very nice. Um, I was I was surprised, honestly. Uh, he's so injury prone, especially when he starts to starts to score goals. But uh, I, you know, another goal at striker really seems like striker is the best position, despite the fact that in game it says that he's a, a natural left winger. Um, so Costa might have to sit the bench for a while. I might consider switching formations to a two striker and see how that works. Maybe. Um, I'll. Uh, I'll think about it. Uh, we got a player suspended, Grimaldo, from uh, from yellow card accumulation. Cornet thanks me for the opportunity. Um, he might play in the next match as well uh, if he's fit. We'll have to see. It's gonna be against Rangers. It's 
probably at home, is it? I forget, no, it's, okay, so it's an away match. Uh, Rangers won their game against Krasnodar. This is a really easy group, uh, to be honest. So, um, I'm going to start Costa in this one, because at this point, he's not a starter for me. So Costa can go in there. Uh, I'm going to give Meyer a go against, you know, the weaker opposition, see if he can start to get going. Um, and then Cornet is going to stay there. I think that's the lineup that I'm going to go with. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to go with for this match. Um, slightly different than just a straight uh, a cup squad, you know, that I used in the, uh, the previous match, the previous uh, Europa League match. Uh, st slightly stronger, you would uh, you would think, with Costa up front, but uh, who knows? I mean, he's not scored a goal yet f for us. I'm the reason I'm playing him in, a, in this against a weaker opponent is because I think once he scores that first goal, I think the floodgates are going to open. I still don't know if a natural striker has scored a goal for me in this career mode save because Baca, and no, I think Baca did get a couple. I don't know. Anyways, though, the striker has been really disappointing. Hopefully, we can turn that around in this game. Um, long story short, come on, Costa, get yourself a goal. I mean, it is the win is more important, but I really need Costa to start scoring for me. He's an 86 rated player, cost me a lot of money. I, you know, I need him to produce. 40 minutes played, still nil nil, no yellow cards or anything. Very boring match so far. First substitution. Surely this isn't going to end nil nil, is it? Cotron is on. So is Suzo, and Meyer scored, but it was immediately cancelled out. Okay, so that's that's a I will I'll take that result. I mean, a one-one draw against Rangers at Rangers isn't great, but Meyer scoring is a good sign because he also hasn't been too great since coming to the club. Uh, but now he's got himself a goal under his belt. Okay, so squad submission is required. Are there any players that catch my eye? Um. I don't think there's any players I'm going to put into the squad. Because I think for now I'm going to keep just playing with two strikers up front. Um, might change that eventually. We do have a couple of right wingers. Got Vitolo on the left. The problem is, we've got plenty of right wingers. There's not really any left wingers uh, available that are that good. Pedro can play on the left, I'd imagine. Okay, I don't You can't see from there. Um... Yeah, so many right wingers, but there's not any not any natural left wingers. Nolito, the best natural left winger we have, and he's an 81 rated, and he's not that great either. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go with the same the same team as before. I mean, we won both games um, in that match, or in that in, in that international break even. Um, so hopefully we can do the same. But it's not uh, it's not the international break yet. Got to play uh, Bologna here away, which isn't gonna be the easiest fixture in the world, but it shouldn't be too awful either. Alright, so now, youth squad time. I'm just going to go through here, get rid of all the players that aren't going to be good enough. And I'm probably going to start getting a little bit more picky, so someone like him, he's going to go. I'm going to also, anyone like this that's 40 rated is just not going to be uh, good enough. 45 rated again, I think anything lower than 50, I think 50 is going to be the bare minimum for me. Uh, I mean, that guy... Unless, unless it's like that, because he does have 80 to 94 potential. If that goes up to like 84 potential, I'll, I'll sign him. But otherwise, he's not going to make it. Because, you know, that's, uh... I'm going to have to train him, you know, 30 plus rating, you know, overall rating before he's going to be uh, a useful player. Um, so let's see, are there any other players that I want to get rid of? Uh, no. Okay. Because I need to clear out the youth squad a little bit, be a little bit more picky. Because I don't have three scouts currently, uh, sending me on players every month. Honda's being kind of bitchy right now. Don't know why. He's played a decent amount of games uh, this season, really. Okay, so, next fixture. Uh, Kaka is going to start because Meyer's a little bit tired. Um, I'm going to keep Cornet, Niang up there. Um, maybe. Can Suzu, can Suzu play Cam? No. He can, Isuka can play left mid, maybe? No. Uh, I need someone... Okay, so Bonaventura can play... I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try something a little bit crazy here. I'm gonna go for a... Uh, 
What is it? Where is it? Okay. 4 1 2 and 2. I'm going to go for Isco. Actually, no. We're going to go with a 4 2 2. A 4 4 2. Just a straight 4 4 2 flat. Because you got two cams. So, uh, Kaka and Isco in the midfield. Uh, Bonaventura and Suzo on the wings. And then Niang and Costa up front. This is a very, very attacking lineup. Uh, and then. Of course, Grimaldo is not going to play it because he's red carded. I'm going to give Munoz a go at uh, left back, see what he can do there. So yeah, this is this is risky, but I think, I mean, I want to start scoring more goals. I always, I always value goals more than I value uh, clean sheets. So hopefully we can get some goals here. This is a, a very attacking lineup, but I, th I mean, we, there's some good players in there too. Um, Bonaventure. Bonaventura hasn't played on the left yet uh, in this save. Obviously, he can in real life, and he, he can in FIFA as well. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. So we'll see what he can do out there. Suzo, a right wing, playing right mid. I mean, that's good enough. Uh, we do have two cams, though, at center mid. You know, one of them being 35 years old, so it's a little bit risky. Uh, but the reason for this is I want Niang and Costa to sort of play off each other. Hopefully, they can both benefit from this, uh, this formation. All right. So let's see how things go in this this uh, you know kind of a kind of a test match. Can't really afford to lose any matches, but I do need to test a couple of different formations um, to be able to. Um, I'm gonna plug in my computer real quick that I'm recording this with because it's low battery. So I'm not really gonna see what's happening. Okay, there we go. Good. Now. Okay, so it's one one. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> well, we didn't score any extra goals, and we conceded one. Oh, that's disappointing. Niang has scored again, though. Costa, again, still hasn't scored a goal, and it's just its really starting to piss me off at this point. That its It seems like Niang is the only striker in the entire fucking world that can score a goal for us. And I don't understand it. <laughs> I really don't. Um... Oh my gosh. Whew. A little a little bit peeled at that. Okay, but we are I mean, we're six points off the top of this at this like point in the season. We're pretty close to second place. I mean everyone other than Juventus is struggling, but Juventus is on fire this season. And uh Niang, Suzo, the, the our two uh top goal scorers, Costa just an utter disappointment. Um he's just so unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna play the, uh, the first match of this international break, and uh, and then that'll be the end of the episode. It is an international friendly, so it's not uh, not as important to win. Of course, I still want to win uh, the game, though. I'm gonna go through and do this real quick, though, before uh, the end of the episode. Okay, two players from Portugal. Who do we got from Italy? One, two. All right, decent. And then Spain. Good player from the start. Another decent one. All right, so we got two from each. So I mean, that's decent, I guess. Gomez wants to talk about wages and playtime. One or the other, mate. Don't don't be expecting a higher wage unless you're going to be playing a lot. You, know, you gotta gotta earn your place before I start paying you more. All right, so that's the lineup I'm going to go with. Villa is going to is going to keep his spot. Um, I am going to get Isco back into the team ahead of Iniesta. Uh, and then um, Javi Martinez also is going to go in. And that's what I'm going to go with. Costa, if he doesn't score in this match, I'm going to drop him from the international team entirely. Because he's not scoring at club level. He didn't score in his opening two games for me in the uh, international, at the international level. So he just really, he needs to impress me here. I've, uh, I'm, I'm starting to get tired of him. Already, I mean, I, I've given lots of strikers lots of chances to score, and they just have not, they haven't done it. So hopefully he can do it this match. We're playing Russia at home. It's international friendly. They don't have very many recognizable players in there uh, at the moment. It's 40 minutes played though, still nil nil. Uh, Carvajal with the opening goal, and David Villa, the absolute legend that is David Villa, um, has scored to make it two nil. 15 minutes left to go, and Cost is off, so he can't score. Uh, he went off just after halftime. 
maybe I should just sign David Villa. Uh, I signed him in the Leicester crew mode. He did pretty decent considering he was like really old at that point. I mean, he's pretty old in the crew mode at this point. Uh, but he's obviously he's going to be dirt cheap because because of his age, um, and his contract's not going to cost that much either because he's he's at New York City FC. Uh, so I could consider buying him. I might look into um, so MLS players in general. I didn't really think about that, but uh, MLS players are on a lot lower wages. So someone like Giovinco could be a decent shout. Uh, but that is going to be the end of this episode. So leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time.